we are inside of After Effects, and here's the scenario. I want this circle to animate from left to right, but I'm still not sure exactly where this thing will be vertically positioned. Okay, so let's come down to this circle layer and tap P to bring up position. I'm going to activate the stopwatch. You can see a keyframe has been added at the very beginning just here. If I drag my playhead to the very end, I now just need to adjust, say, this X value just here, and that will insert automatically a new keyframe for me. So let's try that. If I go and adjust the X value, if I now scrub through this playhead, fantastic. This thing is indeed moving from left to right. Okay, but again, here in my scenario, I need to do a lot of trial and error. So it's like, okay, let's, uh, let's see how this looks further down the page. Okay, so I'll come in here and I'll grab the Y value. Okay, not too bad. So I'll come to the very end and then I have to change its Y value. And it's like, oh yeah, what was that Y value again? I'll come back to the start. Okay, it's 830. I'll come to the very end and change it to 830. And let's have a look. Yes, that's indeed working. Okay. So you can see guys, it works, but it's very manual and it's going to take a lot of time if we're wanting to experiment. Now, full disclosure guys, I'm going to show you something very cool, but it is possible if you select this keyframe and select this other keyframe, and then you make sure your playhead's in just the right position with all of your keyframes selected, it is possible to change this Y value just once. And you can see it has indeed changed along all of those keyframes. That totally works. But that could suck if you have a very long, complicated timeline with keyframes all over the place. So let's go up to File, Revert, and I want to show you a pretty cool way to do this. So again, here's my circle. Now, here is our position just down here. Uh, before I start adding keyframes and animating, I'm just going to right mouse click on this thing and choose Separate Dimensions. Check it out. We now have an X position and a Y position entry here within the layer for circle. So if I click on just the exposition or specifically the stopwatch for exposition, I've now inserted a keyframe for just the exposition. We'll come to the very end and then make a change to the exposition. Notice nothing is changing on Y guys. So if I scrub through here, fantastic. We've got our movement from left to right. And now I'm thinking, okay, I wanna move that Y position. Fantastic, just move the Y position. Now, because that's not keyframed, the whole thing moves. So again, boss comes in, he needs this thing at the very top, no worries. Come and adjust the Y position, bring it to the top. And again, our X movement is unchanged because that's what's keyframed. And the Y value, we just change that once and everything moves. That's it there guys. So separate dimensions on the position and specifically when animating the position. I hope that helps. Catch you later.